Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hopefully you're doing well, and welcome to Shapes 2, a factory automation game. It's so simple and so satisfying, you're not going to put it down for hours and hours and hours. So the main premise of the game is we get a basic shape, we cut it, we slice it, we rotate it, we twist it, we paint it, and we then put it into the void. So when you jump in the game, you've got to make sure you sign your contract. And then you're presented with your basic platform. So we can already see we have circles and we have some squares. And then, of course, the void. So this is our little play area. But then we go out, we go further, we go bigger. And yes, there is so many different shapes, colors and everything. So let's get back to our little play area. And we can see that we have a milestone up in the top left hand corner. And we need to get 10 circles to the void. Okay, so this is a little brief little intermission in the video because one thing I'm noticing, this is editing bits by the way, um, I've noticed there's a little bit of cropping going off in the bottom half of this video. So where the buttons are at the bottom, there's actually a couple more underneath, which is kind of like the tools. That is all that you're really missing at the bottom. I apologize. It was like two hours of worth of recording uh, that I am you know, would have been a pain in the ass to basically re-record. So it was, I'm just kind of leaving it. It's fine. It will be sorted for another video. Uh, I apologize. And let's continue with back with recording bits. And we do that by placing some extractors on these little circles right here, these little exit points. And then we get our belt and we take them over to these little lifts and they'll get lifted over like so and shift and move and bloody groove just like this and we shoot them over this little gap and then take them directly into the port like so and before i take it to the next cut before it goes into the void i want to give a big shout out to the developers who give me two week access and then all the circles then go into the void <laughs> and then our next milestone is we need to get uh semicircles in there and then we also need to get squares so let's go over to the square one let's start putting the extractors down over here like so and then we start making the paths just like we did before hey me again um i i fixed the issue um it was my fault it, I, I i i basically was too zoomed in on the preview in my editing software which cut off the bottom bit so the whole section of me talking about it was cropped it's been there the whole time I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep after this, I, I promise. But now we also need to get these circles into uh, semicircles. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these back. And we're just going to look down at the belt because we can just see here up in the top right hand corner when you highlight a belt in your buildable menu, we can see that belt transports 60 per minute. And if we go over to the cutter, the cutter actually uh, cuts 20 per minute, which means obviously we're going to need three cutters per each belt. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this belt right here and maybe I could leave that one right there, put three there, put three more there, and then just duplicate it on this side. And then I'm just gonna remove that one. You three are gonna go into this three. You three are gonna move along there just like this because we know we have to make everything symmetrical if we can. And now you can see that these are now cutting in half and deleting the other half. Then all we need to do is just get these and send them up to the void. And then we can just take that through there like so, like this. And now they're underway. We'll get 40 in there. And now we need to do the same thing for the squares. And then just like that, we have now got the squares in half and heading to the void. <laughs> and now we have to do it again. But now we're gonna, we have unlocked something called the rotators. So if I was to put down another cutter right here, we can kind of see when I put this down, we can see what's going to happen. It's not going to do anything because it's going to cut this second half here, which it already has been cut off. So we need to rotate it and you can see that what, what it's going to do here, this icon that's blinking and it's going to rotate it to the right. So we're going to do that and then we're going to cut it again and you can see the next, uh, what it's going to look like after it gets cut again. So I can just do that because our current milestone is we need 60 little pizza slices. So we're just going to put rotators all the way along here and then we're going to cut all the way along as well. And then we're going to take it back to... Yeah, I'm not going to do it again. You was expecting it though, wasn't you? <laughs> you was expecting it, but I can take these over here and then take that... To the void. <laughs> oh God. 
So now with that being done, we have completed the milestone, which means we move to this next one. And if we go into here, we can see what we've just unlocked. We have new content, stacker, second floor. We've got some new tasks that we have to do. So we're going to be stacking things. We have a new cutter, swapper, trash, all this kind of stuff that we've unlocked that we need science points for. And we can now unlock additional uh, belt speeds, cutting speeds, and stacker speeds. So we can already see the next milestone is we need a square with a circle on top. And then we also need to make a little, well, coal zone pizza slice, little square. So I'm just going to eliminate what we've done down there. And we're duplicating what we just did previously by rotating all of them, then getting a cutter, bringing all them in, and then start taking these to where they need to go just like so and then we can get these little squares completed so in regards to the square and circles we're going to move over to this side of the map and we're just going to start bringing these and then we also have some more circles over this side and then i'm going to bring these two together over here and then once i've got the circles being extracted and the squares being extracted over here we need to look into the placement of the stackers so i'm going to kind of push it up into this general direction and i'm going to go with um let's uh around here should be fine we'll go with three one two three because each stacker is able to move 10 per minute and obviously we have 60 per minute as maximum speed right now uh, and then we're going to do the same over here so if we go with uh that's six then we're going to go with uh six here as well and then six there um and then we're going to think about the outputs so these are going to come straight up here into that that's going to come straight here into that. And then these ones straight into there like so. And then we need to bring in the squares. So this is going to come from this side like this. Now, can you see why I said it's so satisfying when you get things built? And yes, it does get a hell of a lot more complicated the further we get on. But now we've got all these squares coming here, we need to actually bring in the circles. So we're just going to bring this all the way down and we're going to take this to here and then we're going to lift it by pressing E, take it over to these six over here and take that into there. And then we're going to bring this one down, down here, press E, lift it up, take it to the next layer and do that. And then what, because we need the circles to go on top. So they need to go on this top side of this, uh, the lifts of the, uh, what they call again, stackers. And the squares need to go underneath because the circle needs to go on top. So we're just gonna grab this, bring this down here like so, and then take this over here just like we did with the other ones. Go back down. The controls are so simple, so satisfying, it just works. And then we can see, and if you're worried about if you've got the recipe right and if it's all set up here, just look at the outcome. So we can see here at the end of this belt, this is the shape it's gonna make. If I was to change it in any like in any belt, it will show here as well. So anything regarding outputs, we can see where it's going. And then on this side, if we look at the pizza slice, there is no X anymore. That's because in the milestones, there's not gonna be this going output in here. Uh, so there's four different symbols or five different symbols. You have like a tick, an X, uh, an exclamation mark, and some other stuff. We'll see them as we go. Like this one is a green, t uh, 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 what's it called here? A gray one which I do believe this will be get used again, but in a future recipe. So now that we don't need this, I'm just going to shift click this, get rid of that out of there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get this one out of there as well. Um, no, because the current one, that's why it's gray, is because it's half correct, but we need to stack it. So we need to get these here now and stack them so we have two squares. So because we've got two different lines, I'm just going to remove these like so and like this. And then we need all six of these. Well, we'll just need technically two because this is a 60 line. This is a 60 line. And what I need is let's go away with one, two, three, one, two, three. And then if we grab you, bring you together, put you on a manifold like so. And then we're going to get these three, bring it. Oh, I can't bring that up there, can I? I think I need to push this up by one, which is what I can do. So let's get a stacker there. Bring them across. Oh, I did just exactly the same thing again. I need to take this up by one. There we go. Here. Take that up by like that. Bring these here. Take you up here and then across there like so. And then just duplicate that like so. You three to come this way. Let's go up. And if, I think it's if I press V, we can actually remove the layer, which is pretty cool. So we can hide the top layers. So in case there's anything in our way. And then we just need to bring these into, oh, into these ones. And then we can just take them into the, them into the, and as you can see on the belt, it's showing what the outcome's going to be, like I said before. And Bob's our uncle, Fanny's our aunt.
So now that we've got this one moving, we need to get four of them into the void. And then we also now need to go onto this one, which is basically the same thing we're doing here, but we now need to cut it in half. So we need um, basically cutters before they go into the stacker. So we're just going to remove this here, and then I'm going to get cutters to go one, two, three. No, not like that. I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're just going to go like that. Oh, I'll put this too close, haven't I? I have. Uh, it needs to go to the one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you into them three, you into them three, like so. Now we have the halves. So what we can do is just go like that and bring you up into here. Like that. So now we've got the halves. And now we need to do the same with the circles. So we need to get these cut. So we're just going to take out a little chunk here. And then we're going to go with the same. So three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three. Uh, did I miss? Oh, it's because I added one here. That does not go there. Because that goes there to there. You, you, you. We need to add another one on the end. Uh, which is a cutter. Rotate you. Uh, uh, oh my god, I lost my controls. There we go. And then we're just going to bring these up here to go onto here. And they're automatically where they're going. The best way I've kind of figured out how to do this, especially in the first one, is your camera angle. As you can see, like these are on the left hand side round. If I was on my camera angle this side, it's downwards, right? As long as you can see that this is on the left side of the circle that the plates that they're on, and then these are on the, the plates that they're, uh, they're on as well, you can see that they're going to stack correctly. We just now need to get these ones. Oh, ah! we just need to get these over here like so. And that is now wait what is wrong with this oh no it's because it's shut giving the old chips we're just waiting for the new ones to come through i was wondering like why is these wrong so it's showing the correct ones here even though it's showing the x that it is incorrect it's because it's sending the old ones through so this x is reading the current item that's going through where this one it's just gone to green so now we just need to wait for our next assignment and that's where we have something called tasks and these tasks actually give us research points and then research points can actually be spent in here. So we can increase our belt speed, cutting speed, stack in, and we can get some new items like trash or even signs. Uh, we can get bent stackers, 100%, uh, 180 rotators, so we don't have to put two um, 90 degree ones down, and so on and so forth. Uh, but we're about to complete the double stacked uh, calzone, which is what I'm calling it. It's like a little stack sandwich right now. And that should be done in a couple of seconds. The other one's flying up as well now. And there we have it. And now we need to stack these next ones. And what I need to do um, is this one's going to be a little different because I need to remove all the belts from here, this including the top shelves, because I need to now merge these and these. But I need to get one of them to bend. So can I do this with enough spacey? I think I can. So if, oh no, I can't. Um, yeah, all of these needs to be shifted up by one. So if I just do that, I'm going to take this up a little bit further, to be honest, just in case we have to do some additional things in the future. So I'm going to bring the stacker up here. Two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. And then we need to get two rotators down on one side. So then that's top left this is bottom right and then we need to get this belt to come up here go up there and you're going to go into oh no i did that wrong go down take you here go up and then go along there like so then we just need to duplicate it on this side you don't have to like do it the way i'm kind of doing it the only reason i'm doing it this way is because it obviously it'll fill the milestone quicker uh i just realized i'm doing that wrong it needs to go like that and that should now give me the new ships but yeah i'm doing it this way just because it fills up quicker because utilizing all these um definitely take your time to get used to the controls uh and all that kind of good stuff so the next thing we need to do is we need to do the same thing for this one we now need a square so we need to basically just cut this one in half really and send it so what i could do is i could just delete this here and then i could put if i was to put a cutter there no i need to rotate it first if we put a, cut, uh, a rotator on the output of all of these, I can then get a cutter to cut all of these. And then I can just bring you, uh, no, you into there, you into there. And that will give me what I need. It's a nice little puzzle game as well. It gets the brain working and everything just comes so naturally. It's really crazy. Oh, but I actually forgot to put all of these. Uh, I did this wrong and I, that needs to go into there. Uh, that one into there, and three into this one, and then you into that one. There we go. So now they're all moving and bloody grooving. 
we've just now got to wait for this to be 720 or we could start looking into a current task so we do have two circles stacked and squares, squares stacked here we do have circles available over here which i could start doing um so i am going to grab the circle task and we're just going to start stacking these um so we're just going to do two lines of six so i'm going to get the stacker i'm going to read the stacker up here because sometimes the cutter is better down here and the stacker's more towards the end um so i'm just going to go along here i'm just going to go six like that and then six that way yeah and then i'm just going to bring that straight up here split you along like so and then I'm going to bring this other one along here, along here, lift you up there, take you across there. And then we're going to do the same for this one, like that. And now we have circles on top of circles. I mean, now we just connect these up, like so. And then we have them going into the void. So we've got all of this progressing. Uh, we have this current task doing, and we can't really do much anything uh, right now because uh, what's going on over here? Why have we got... Oh, hold on. I made a... Oh, I messed up bad style. I messed up bad style. All of them to go into there. All of them to go into there. And then these two to go up here. Oh, boy. There we go. Wait. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. Oh, no, because I need these cut. Oh, I need these cutting down. <gasps> oh, what a spoon. This whole system's wrong because I totally forgot about these stackers down here. Some of you might have already pointed it out in the comments and already told me. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to uh, disassemble all of this because we have no room here. So the only thing we can really do now is go to the source. So we're going to eliminate this area. We're then going to rotate these three, rotate them three, rotate and cut, which we need to do with them all, right? Yeah, we need to do them with them all. So they all need to be rotated. They all need to be cut. And then they all go to where they need to go, like so. And uh, technically that can just go along there and then into that. And then this can just get deleted. Same for this one. And then you to go up that way. And then I can just delete you like that. And I've just deleted that one. So we can just go up a level, rebuild that there. And then we need to do the same here. So remove that, rotate on them, cut them, and then build them back to where they need to go like so. And that should give us what we need. Now we just connect them up. So that needs to go there. Then all you need to go to there. And then they can all go. <laughs> right, but we've just completed that task. So if we click that, we can actually see what we're kind of going to get next. We're going to get semi uh, the semicircles and then half. And then we're going to get a diagonal piece. We can kind of prep these if we want to. So we're going to unlock that one. And then we have our current setup over here. We're then going to start getting these cut into, uh, into halves, uh, which we're just going to go very similar with what we did before. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're just going to do that and that that and that that and that oh and then that should give us the half circles which is what we need for this next milestone and then we just need to cut it again uh after this one because we already know what the next task is going to be and we can actually go into this if you want if you want to kind of look because things get really stackable later and different shapes and different colors so you can kind of go into here and like break it down into what's in each pizza slice and all that kind of stuff so now we've just got to wait for these to get sent. And then we're also waiting for these two corner pieces to get done, which is 720. These are new enough identical. So now it's just a waiting game because I am currently consuming all the extractors that's going. So now all we need to do is sit and wait and wait for everything to go into the void, basically. All right, so I've just figured out I've done all of this wrong over here. Uh, we don't actually need this section and we don't need this section because all six of these go together like so and i was wondering like why is everything backing up over here so mistakes happen because i'm a bone but we've just completed the milestone and then the other milestone is about to get completed it was going slower than the other one this one was fine it's just that one and plus i forgot to put the uh points down here as well and it's just super cool just watching them to be like flung into the void on these little hot wheel like boosters but if you're interested in seeing more of Shapes 2, make sure you let me know in the comments uh, because I'll definitely push them out as well uh, if you're enjoying them because things will get more complex because we've got all of these to mine and more 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 and more. <laughs> but there we go. We just completed the milestones and we just got the task done as well. Um, also, if we actually go into, is it the milestones? We can kind of see what we've got coming up. So we've got like space platforms, and then we get to choose our next factory. So we can start looking at like different colored stuff and different shapes. And then if we go over here, 
we have some question marks to like what's next but don't get don't get worried there is trains and all that kind of stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the milestone i'm going to unlock the next one which is actually oh, blueprints which is going to make things so much easier for us right now because let's just say i want this duplicated i can just shift left click like that control c and build look how easy that was and we can super expand and start making mega bus lines and start mass producing a lot of the stuff and we can start bringing stuff in on the highways pretty soon so if we want to start bringing in some more circles we can start extracting them from over here bringing them on a highway making it into another factory put some platforms down here and whatnot and uh oh boy it's gonna get spicy but let's complete this pin task and unlock this one and we have to do now this pizza slice so we're just going to do similar to what we did before so we're just going to chop these down here we're then going to rotate all these we're then going to chop these like so and then we're just going to do like i said what we did before and then that will be our double pizza slice or you could say a triangle sandwich and our next milestone is we need to combine a circle and a circle and a square. Uh, the square at a diagonal point as well. So this one over here is already given us this one. So what we need to do now is we need to combine it with... Wait a minute. It would have been... Yeah, so now we just need to get this one on the circle one. So this one's still being sent. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to uh, do this. We're just going to go shift uh right click we're just going to delete all of that and then we need to make these pieces so all i'm going to do is with the new blueprint tool i'm just going to grab that control c it we're going to flip it and we're going to put that there like that and then we're going to do it the same for this one over here like so and then i'm going to remove this section here like that and then i'm going to grab this section like that and then we're just going to bring this further down here like so we're then going to remove this section and then we're going to get you into there like this you into there like that then we're just going to one-to-one -one all of these stackers like this and then we're going to go over to the circles remove these here and then we're going to get you to come along here like this go up here to feed the first or well, the next six i should say and then we're going to get this one to come along here like this go up go around go into there and feed them and then all i need to do sorry these were the squares over here i called them circles before is now that oh they need to be rotated um i need to rotate these so this is a 60 belt and rotators do how much rotators do 30 per minute so really we need to go that 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 and we can just do it that way that way and that way and that should fix my problem with rotation and now we can see we have the shape we want Let's complete that pin task. And now the next one is we need to do this shape, which is basically what we're doing now with just spinning them. So where's our current one that's doing this? It's this one here, isn't it? So all we really need to do is go into here, delete that, delete that. And I'm just going to rotate you there, you there, bring you across here like this. Oh, we need to rotate it twice, don't we? Yeah, it needs to be rotated twice. So it needs to go that way, that way, that way. And that is now giving us that shape. And then what we need to do is we need to change this whole section because we need to put down another stacker, which is going to go uh, three and then three. And then we're going to grab all of these like that and all of these like that. Then that is going to make the shape we want. And these can just go into there. They could just go into there. And then that is all fine and dandy. You see how super satisfying this game is, especially how easy it is to build. So now we don't actually need this section over here. So we're just going to go get rid of that. We don't need it. Get rid of that as well. Um, actually, do we have any square tasks we can do right now? We do. We have basically what we just had a minute ago. So we're going to pin that one and we're just going to grab this whole system here. We're just going to grab all of this like this going to control c it we're going to control v it we're going to bring that into there but this time we're just going to remove this but i'm actually going to just put that straight up to there because that's all they need to do um but these don't need rotating so this these just need stacking right now so we can just get rid of all of these and just take them up there but we'll leave the belts in the current direction they are 
so we can just fix it later because it's more than likely going to do the same shape right if i just go into tasks oh you know it's a little different because they want circles in this one but let's start bringing them in they can start being stacked we're going to remove this section up here because we need you to come up there and then we need you to come up there and then that is that task now being worked on and just ignore this kind of shape here i don't know what's going on but now i'm just going to leave that running and we're going to call this video right here so if you enjoyed it make sure you let me know in the comments um it's a hell of a lot of fun uh, and uh yeah thank you so much for watching and as always keep bloody smiling <laughs>